That's that Chicago. What is up, PSG family, and welcome back to the one. We are jumping into my first NBA game, but real quick, if you get drafted to the Suns or whatever team you get drafted to, your agent comes up to you and gives you the opportunity to trade to any team you like. So you can definitely force yourself to a good team or your hometown team if you do not like the team that you got drafted to. Now real quick guys, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Subscribe if you're new here because we've got plenty of more NBA Live 19 content. Not only that, we'll have some 2K19 content as well. We're we doing it all. We're doing it all on this channel, okay? Anyway, so my first game for the Phoenix Suns, if you missed the last video, go ahead and check that out. There's going to be a card you can click on the top right or it's going to be in the comments below. We got the number one overall pick by playing very well in that draft combine. I ended up with the overall score of 253, which was just enough to get that number one pick. So now we're jumping into our first game against the Dallas Mavericks on our home court. Now, I don't know if you could do this last year, but you can definitely change the jerseys you're wearing this year. I don't remember if we were able to do this. I don't think so. So this is a nice, neat little feature that they added where you can actually change what jersey you're going to wear before the game starts. So here we go. Starting up my new career for the Phoenix Suns. Man, I'm excited. Wing playmaker, obviously, they don't have DeAndre Ayton anymore. He got drafted second overall because I went first overall. But I'm going to fill it up for this team, man. I'm going to try to win the MVP. I'm going to make up for the DeAndre Ayton loss. Now, look at this beautiful play, man. I get wide open. And you guys want to know how I did that? I used the right stick to push myself off. If you guys are having trouble scoring as a shooter or anything, really, make sure you put in that right stick to work because it'll create so much space for you guys. No joke, it'll create a lot of space for you guys if you're, trying to, if you're, not, if you're having trouble getting open and you need some room to breathe. Make sure you use that right stick. So 13 to 11, getting my first assist. That went to TJ Warren. He knocks that one down as it's tied at 13 apiece. Now DeAndre Jordan throwing down the alley oop. They added so many new alley oop animations, man, and they all look so good. Going strong to the rim right here, getting that layup to go. Really fluid with these handles, man. Really fluid with these crossovers. Loving it so far. The three ball from Wesley Matthews, he knocks that one down as they would take a three-point lead. So we're coming right back. It looks like they're running a play for me on this one. So I would have to go up, set a screen for Devin Booker. And you guys know me. If you guys knew my NBA Live 18 series, you know I'm popping every time on those picks. I don't roll on those picks, man. Stepping back, drilling that jumper with the shot clock winding down. Let's take a look at that one more time, man. Wesley Matthews was all up in my face. Could have been a foul. No foul called. Okay, that's fine. So Matthews is probably mad that I did that some because he would come right back at me, man. Look at this. Comes right back at me. That's some bad defense by me. I don't know where I'm flying to try to get that block. Not a good look. 20 to 17, and I would turn the ball over. Matthews told you he got mad. He ain't playing around anymore. He's going strong to the rim after ripping me up. So another thing, guys, is that my handles aren't exactly where I need them to be just, just yet. Neither is my jumper. That was a clean mid-range look, and I would miss that one. So I still got a lot of upgrading to do before my guy is going to be anywhere near as good as I want him to be. 22-19, to 19, getting loose on his fast break, finding Devin Booker in that corner, drilling that three ball. That's going to be a crazy one-two combo, man. Me and Booker on the fast break? Can you even imagine how many points we're about to score? Michael Porter Jr. is on the Suns. So like I said, that draft kind of shifted everybody a bit. So me... Michael Porter Jr. are on the same team. If MPJ lives up to his potential, this team is going to be wild. Now it's 25 apiece. I'm crossing over left to right, going to Michael Porter Jr. in that corner, and he drills another three. So I got shooters actually knocking down shots. If you played NBA Live 18, the one mode, you knew your teammates weren't knocking down anything. I mean, they were horrible, man. Even James Harden, when I was on the Houston Rockets, he would struggle knocking down three balls. That looks like it's not the case this year. And if you're wondering what difficulty I'm playing on right now, I am playing on All-Star, which I'll likely bump it up to Superstar if I feel like All-Star gets too easy. But right now, it's just it's playing a good game of basketball, man. I think it's very, very clean thus far. So Tyson Chandler tips that one in, making it a four-point game. I got the ball right here. Nothing happening, so we go with the handoff. I'm trying to cross over left to right, going strong to the rim, and I would miss that one. So my layup game, boys. I mean, at least call a foul, okay? You know what? That was a foul. Instead of saying my layup game is weak, I'm just going to say that was a foul. 
right? 35 to 31. I got the ball right here. Kicking it up to Tyson Chandler on this fast break. He finishes up with a nice floater as we go up by six points. Still in this second quarter, we come up with a steal, getting loose on another fast break. I'm taking the ball. I'm going up strong this time. I ain't messing around. Getting the and one bucket. I ain't messing around, PSG family. I got to go hype up the crowd. I'm the new guy here. I got to go talk to the crowd a little bit, let them know who I am. Pure Stroke Gaming. I am here to bring you guys many, many championships if they pay me. Y'all got to pay me, okay? Otherwise, I might trade myself like I did on Live 18. But anyway. They would knock down the three ball here. Wesley Matthews with that one. He's been doing a lot of the scoring for the Mavericks thus far, man. Now we're running another pick and roll with Tyson Chandler. This time I get a beautiful look off this crossover. Woo! I left him, but unfortunately I would miss the jumper. So my mid-range game, not looking too hot right now. I would almost turn the ball over as Harrison Barnes being really aggressive on defense. Eventually I get over to Devin Booker who gets that lucky bounce. That one drops in as I pick up another assist. So we got an eight-point lead towards the end of this third quarter not too bad they would miss this mid-range jumper i'm grabbing the rebound and i'm getting loose ready to go now this is easily the highlight play of the game take a look at this man double crossover leading to that one that 180 layup take a look at this one more time Woo! out of nowhere i don't even know what layup package i'm using okay i don't know where that came from but i will take it Third quarter is coming to an end. We got a five-point lead. I'm trying to close this one out the right way as Devin Booker drills that three ball to build on to our lead. However, there's still some time left on the clock, and the Mavericks, they're going to take advantage of that, man. Wesley Matthews, again, drills another three ball. I'm telling y'all, he was doing a lot of the scoring for these guys. 66 to 71. Seeing if I could get one more to drop in before the end of the third. No, I would miss that one as we would end the third quarter up by five points. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. My first game, if we pull out this W, is going to be a real good look. Now, they would sub me back in the game with 34 seconds to go. And it's a two-point game. I'm pretty surprised. I thought they were going to sub me back in for a blowout. No, they put me right back in the crucial part of it, in the most important part of the game. I'm like, all right, I guess I got to perform. Now, the Mavericks would actually miss that when they were unable to tie the game. And this would lead to some fouls. We go to the free throw line. Brandon Knight is at the free throw line for the first one. Of course, the man misses it. We can't even ice the game. There's about 17 seconds left. The second one is good. So that makes it a three-point game. The Mavericks call a timeout. Now, this is a good opportunity to see how the late game AI perform performs, right? We want to see if it's improved over Live 18. Do they go for two? Do they go for three? They're wasting a lot of time right here off the clock. Eventually, they would settle for this two ball from Harrison Barnes, but he would miss it. So what do you guys think about the AI right there, man? I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on it. I think going for two is a good idea in that situation if they went for two a little bit faster. However, I can't be too quick to judge the late game AI just yet because that was only one game. We got to see how they perform in other games or clutch situations come up. So Tyson Chandler would obviously miss both of them because he can't just make one. Wesley Matthews pulls up the three ball. He misses that one. And we walk away with the victory. So 88 to 91, we get our first W. I'm starting out my career with a W. That's a pretty good look. And I had a pretty solid outing for my first game. I was coming off the bench with only 12 minutes per game at this point. So we're going to see how this career progresses. Solid, solid outing for me, man. What do you guys think so far, man? If you guys have played the EA Axis and you guys have played the one mode, what do you guys think? How do you feel about the game thus far? Let me know in the comments below. 10 points, 6 assists, 3 rebounds. Solid for his game. I will take it. Thank you guys for watching this video, man. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. I will see you next time.